Greetings YouTube, Marvin Ford with Great American Survival. This week we're bringing you a special review of Columbia River Knife and Tool Company. We're going to cut it to our credits and we'll be right back guys. Alright, well I'm glad everybody is here this week. This week we're doing a special review of the Columbia River Knife and Tool Company's North Cliff. Uh, this I recently received. This is a really nice knife, guys. Um, it's a Steve Jernigan knife. Um, man, it's just pretty. I mean, it really is. It's um, what I call, I, I call it my my executive EDC. Whenever I post on Instagram or anything and I want to post my slick stuff, like if we're going out, this is one when I, when I first got it this was one i i don't carry it very often because it's just nice and it's very pro, low profile it doesn't have a belt clip or a pocket clip so it just falls down in your pocket but it's very thin and it's very lightweight but man it feels great in your hand i mean it really does and it's got a great profile the blades just under three inches 2.95 the whole knife itself is 7.56 for those of you that live in certain states where that's not legal. It's under eight inches, so you should be okay. Uh, closed length, the body itself is 4.35 inches, and it weighs 3.3 ounces. Um, it has a flat grind, a drop point blade, and it has these ebony wood handles for the inlay of the steel. It is a 8CR13 MOV steel, and I mean, it's just a really nice knife. If you're looking for a nice knife it does have a liner lock um, but if you're looking for a nice knife to carry when you're when you don't just want to have a tactical knife in your pocket when you're out or going to church or um, and you're dressed nicely you know I guess I'm just different certain things when I have certain EDCs I have certain things that dress you know go well together and this knife is definitely one of them um, Columbia River Knife and Tool makes some amazing knives they get some amazing designers to come out and design knives for them. And this one is definitely that. I got this knife for, as a gift. And ironically, it was funny because the gentleman that sent me this knife, I sent him another one. And I've always been under the adage of, uh, of a, when someone gives you a knife, that you give them a coin. Um, my grandfather was one of the first people I ever had that did the challenge coin and most of his were silver dollars, but they weren't just normal silver dollars. Um, they were, you know, today they're $30 silver dollars. I mean, they're expensive, but, um, he would always say when it, cause people would always giving my grandfather knives. They'd be like, you know, I found this one or I bought this one and People do the same thing to me. They know I like knives. They know I collect knives. They know I have a collection of knives. But they also know I use my knives. My knives, I have a lot of knives right now that are brand new. They're still in the boxes. But I also have a ammo can full, or actually it's a first aid kit. It's a military first aid kit box full of knives that are ones I use on a regular basis. All of these knives were all in there, when I was, except for the North Cliff. But uh, these knives are amazing. If you don't know about Columbia River, Columbia River is an amazing company. They're made in Oregon. They are just amazing. I mean, they make some great stuff. Um, and they hire in a bunch of really cool designers to do some amazing stuff. And um, there's no limit on what you can get. They have everything from tactical knives uh, to neck knives, as you see here. Because mine are a little bit of all of those are right here. Um, they have everything from hatchets to machetes. Um, they've got a huge selection of knives. Um, they've got a huge selection of gear. But um, I can't say enough about them. They're an amazing company. I'm not going to go too long on this one. This is an amazing knife. If you're looking for a knife that is a little different, runs you about 50 bucks. Uh, you might find it cheaper on Amazon or somewhere else, but from the CRKT uh, website, it's 50 bucks. So, if you're looking for a really cool knife, and or if you're looking to buy your husband a really cool knife that you don't think he has, this falls into that category. Yes, it's not a $200 pocket knife, but it's a very nice knife for $50. Bucks. Um, there's a lot of nicer knives out there, 
but this knife right now, like I said, for 50 bucks is exquisite. It is really nice, it's really well built, and it's really good steel. Um, if you're new to our channel, please subscribe right over there. We'd love to have you stick around. Subscribe and comment below, and uh, like us. Follow us on Facebook or so and uh, Instagram. We'd love to hear from you. Tell us your favorite knife. Tell us. Tell me your favorite Columbia River knife. Tell me your favorite cricket. Um, tell me us. You know, just I, I. I like to share stories with people. I love to tell stories about, especially about knives. I've got a lot of them, and um, a lot of them are about these knives I have. A bunch of them are ones I've been given. A bunch of them are not. A bunch of them are ones I've sold. A bunch of them are ones I've bought from other people. A bunch of them are just ones that have a have a history with me. Some don't. Ch check out Columbia River. Let me know what you guys think. Check out their website. I will post it in the link below, and I will also post a link of uh, on an Amazon link to pick it up if I can find one. Hope everybody has a blessed week. Get out there, be prepared, stay safe, and God bless. We'll talk to you later, guys. Next time, next week. Same time, same place. Thanks, guys.